afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. Guys, I got another nice Class C motorhome. I just got in. In fact, we took this unit in on trade that we're going to review today. And this is a 2017-2016 Winnebago Mini Winnie Model 31K. Guys, it's a good open floor plan for those of you looking for a lot of open space in a motorhome. It is 32 feet, nine inches long. I got a great price on it, it's only 54 dollars And guys, it, it does have some miles on it, I'm gonna go ahead and warn you. I sold this unit to some folks about three and a half years ago, three years ago, and um, they put some miles on it. They put about 16, 17,000 miles on it since they owned it. Definitely hasn't been sitting, but it does have 85,000 miles on it. Looking at it, you, you would think it had, you know, 30,000, 35,000 miles on it, somewhere around there, just from the condition inside and out. Um, it's obviously been well taken care of by them and the previous owners. But it does have some miles, and that's why the price is so low. And, um, boy, it's a beauty, too, guys. I mean, this thing's got a nice shine to it. Tires are great. Uh, it's a Winnebago, so you get that one-piece seamless fiberglass roof. And uh, got a power awning that looks great. Canvas looks great. 4KW Onan generator. I mean, they just don't come nicer than this. And I say it's a 17-16 model. And those of you who watch, who, who've been around RVs for a while or watch my channel for a while, you, you know exactly what it is. This is a 2017 model. It was sold new as a 2017. But, uh, like most, like all motorhomes, is built on a year older chassis, which in this case would be a 17 or 16 model chassis. Well, mistakenly, one of the previous owners, when they took it down to their local DMV office, the title clerk, when they typed in the VIN number, says all RVs are registered under the VIN number of the Ford chassis since Computer systems don't recognize a Winnebago serial number. They always type it in by the chassis serial number. And when they do, what's it gonna show? It's not gonna show a 17 Winnebago Mini Winnie. It's gonna show a 16 model Ford E450 cutaway chassis. And uh, if the title clerk doesn't check it and the consumer doesn't check it or doesn't catch it, it's gonna show, it's gonna auto populate everything as a 16 Mini Winnie. And it doesn't matter what's on the paperwork, it's gonna just auto-populate everything. They're gonna hit enter. It's gonna process through, and if nobody catches it, that's what's gonna show on the title. And it happens, well, I'd say about, about one or two out of 10 Class C and Class A motorhomes have that exact same problem. And uh, most dealers go ahead and just advertise it by like if this was sitting on most dealers' lots, would advertise as a 17. I'm not gonna do that, guys. I like to be open and honest with my viewers. T technically, it is a 17 model, but I have to sell it as a licensed, bonded, insured dealer. That's the year model that's on the title. It's a 16 chassis, but it is a 17 model motorhome. You want further proof? Look right here in the door. All one of Bagos have a sticker right around the driver's door that specifically shows the year model it doesn't just give a date it shows the actual year model and you can see right there guys 2017 mini weenie 31k so it was sold new as a 17 model but the title says a 16 ford cutaway chassis now that's something that you may or may not be able to get corrected at your local DMV office. It depends on your state's title regulations. Every state's got different regulations. Some states you can get this corrected, some states you can't. Some states it's more trouble than it's worth. The previous owners bought it this same way. I looked up the old video from years ago and they didn't even fool with it because it really didn't matter to them. It's 16 or 17, it's still the same motorhome. But it is a 17 model, guys. So uh, I just want you to be aware of that. It doesn't hurt anything. Um, so anyway, if you got questions about that, just give one of our salespeople a call. They'll try to explain it to you a little better. But um, 
man it's a beauty too guys i don't know if you saw that slide out over there with the awning topper and look at the shot on this thing cab over looks great they just don't come any nicer than this for a, for a used 17 or u16 however you want to look at it i'm gonna call it a 17 because that's what it was when it was new so you know i don't care what the title says to me it's a 2017 because that's what it was sold new as let's look inside and um Oh, by the way, before we go any further, let me pop a drone up and show you the roof shot. It is a one-piece fiberglass roof. It All right, everybody, let's step inside. And I went ahead and put that awning up, too, because of where we're parked at up front. And, guys, you know, if I put a motor home up front, like where this one's parked at, you know it's going to be nice and even with the miles i mean this thing look how clean it is everything looks original except the previous owners um put a little custom mural well not really mural but they put some vinyl up on the wall right there i guess to kind of give it that kind of mountain stack stone feel which looks actually looks pretty good so i left it there up here in the front cab we do have 85,985.5 miles, right? 85.4 miles, no check engine lights, no smoker pad odors, and uh, dash air is ice cold, backup camera works, got the battery boost, stereo works good, seats look great, no smoke, no pad odors, no carpet. I think this RV has any carpet. No, it doesn't which is a lot easier to keep clean. Uh, six foot, 10 inch ceiling height. This unit's got the 30,000 BTU ducted furnace, 15,000 BTU ducted roof air. It does have a 4KW on and gasoline generator. Now guys, currently in the people trading in this way, it's not running. I've got a service ticket turned in. We are going to fix that generator, whatever it takes. I thought it was just a, uh, low on fuel but the people very rarely use the generator they said so i'm hoping it's just a carburetor clogged up something like that which we're going to fix it regardless of whatever the problem might be uh so don't worry about that uh we will take care of that so just consider having a functioning generator i just can't run it right now that we fix it um it does have a cab over bed with a full well it's actually a 57 inch wide bed so it's larger than a full-size bed. It's three inches narrower than a queen. So you're going to use queen-size sheets. Of course, you got your ladder. That's your insert mattress. This makes it a almost a queen-size bed. And this is a very popular floor plan because you've got a great place to watch television. You got your sofa right here, directly across from the television. You've got a DVD or Blu-ray player right there. You can watch as well. And plus this floor plan gives you a lot of extra countertop space for food prep. You've got a big double basin sink. So this is actually for a class C because class C's traditionally don't have very big kitchens. This one's actually kind of the exception to the rule um, because of this particular floor plan. They did add some more of that, um, whatever you want to call that stuff, uh, faux stack stone, <laughs> vinyl wall covering I think that sounds as good as anything, uh, or wallpaper. Uh, you do have a three burner stove top. Doesn't look like it's hardly been used. Oven looks good. Microwave. And of course, being a Winnebago, you do have nice pantry options. And three more drawers here. Let you get the idea. You do have Norcold two-way rb refrigerator freezer and this should be should be an 822 it is so this is going to be an eight cubic foot it runs off propane or electric we do guarantee that to work that's part of our uh major systems inspection included with purchase and i'll go over that here in a minute uh the split bathroom one small step like maybe four inches tall not a lot of showers taken in here. And you can tell because you can always see the sticker at the bottom of the shower pan. 
anytime you see that sticker, it's not had a lot of showers taken in here. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. <laughs> um, because you know what happens, guys, is, you know, that shower is, you know, that sticker's constantly getting wet, dry, wet, dry. People are rubbing it with their feet. Usually it don't last that long. So the fact that it's still there, still got sticker on it, that's a pretty good sign. And got a little soap and shampoo conditioner dispenser. This is your heat and air thermostat. Again, 15,000 BTU. More than enough. And plus, I like the big window. Look at that big window behind that big table booth. Books and manuals, that big table booth makes a bed. That's a huge bed and a big table booth that can sit four people pretty comfortably. And then you got your sleeper sofa that makes a bed. So this is an eight sleeper total, at least on paper. <laughs> uh, you know, it could be eight depending on how big the people are. I don't think you're going to fit eight full-size adults in any of these that say they sleep eight. I think that's a mixture of kids and adults, but you get the idea. I do have a porcelain RV toilet and a corner cabinet right there. Sink. Pretty nice. You know, it's Winnebago quality, guys. And Winnebago, of course, well known for making 80% of their own parts in-house. They have their own fiberglass department, their own plastics department, their own metal fabrication department. I mean, they actually build most of the parts on here. They make their own furniture. Uh, they build their own frames in-house from the chassis up. It's all Winnebago. That, they were the first RV manufacturer to do that. And still one of the very few that actually do that. They don't use all aftermarket frames. And the benefit to you for that, of course, on the frame part, is you get a better fit and finish. Slide out is tighter, seals tighter. You get less squeaks and rattles and less sway going down the road because everything's tighter. You know, this whole RV is designed by Winnebago engineers for Winnebago. In other words, guys, the frame on this motorhome is designed specifically for a 31K 2017 Mini Winnie, not uh, Mini Winnie and a Fleetwood Tioga and uh, Coachman Freelander, you know, all together. They actually design the parts and the motorhome to work together from the, from the drawing board. Instead of buying aftermarket parts and having to build a motorhome to fit the parts, well, they, they build the parts to fit the motorhome. Place for a TV up there in the corner if you wanted to add one later on. And of course, you got a solid door here for privacy. Not bad. And we are going to bring the slide out and test drive it later in the video. So guys, this unit is 54.9 plus applicable sales tax and includes the following. And please pay attention to this, guys. It includes our major systems inspection. Uh, we don't guarantee everything to work on a used RV. Nobody does. Now, they may say it in jest, but in writing, we don't. Nobody does. For sale by owner or dealer. In fact, new RVs, they don't guarantee everything to work. Because, trust me, guys, on new RVs, the warranty, the new warranties, if it's a major claim, they're going to do their best to get out of paying it. And, of course, you know, these aftermarket service contract and aftermarket warranties that other dealers try to sell you that we don't are not worth the paper they're written on, and they'll try to get out of pretty much paying anything but a, but a minor claim. In other words, you have a major claim, they're going to spend more money and more time and more trouble trying to keep from paying the claim than just to write you a check for the for repair and, and go ahead and pay the claim. I know it's weird to say that, but that's how they operate. And that's just nature. You can ask anybody in the RV business or anybody that's ever bought one of those aftermarket service contracts, aftermarket warranties. If they figured up what they could have fixed the RV for from themselves for cash and versus what they paid for the warranty, at the end of the warranty period, they could have saved quite a bit of money just paying for the repairs out of pocket. Um, it, I know it's a gamble no matter which way you go, but it's like a casino. The, the odds are always in the house's favor, and the house in this, in this example is always going to be the warranty company because they are a for-profit business. You buy it after market warranty. You know, if they, can't, if they can't average out making more money selling the warranty policy than they do paying claims and they're not going to be in business very long so if you see if you buy from a, a dealer from a warranty company that's been around for a long time that's that means they don't pay any claims 
because they paid all the claims that everybody filed they'd be out of business in a year so keep in mind guys on average about one out of three one out of four claims get paid uh with these aftermarket warranties so where you go out plop six seven eight thousand dollars on a warranty keep in mind put that money up in savings don't buy the warranty uh be a cash buyer for repairs that way you can get it repaired anywhere you're not obligated or married to a certain dealership for repairs you can pay for a mobile rv tech you can pay for an independent shop um cash customers always get their rv back quicker than warranty customers a lot of people don't know that but when dealerships know you got a warranty if they even accept the warranty they know you're not going to go anywhere else because you're most of y'all can't so uh, but cash customers can so of course they want them cash customers in and out quickly so they can get that money and uh, they know the warranty especially if you're with a like rip off world and you get one of their uh my heck i'm trying to think of a a good ham warranty because they're all the same company I, I'm, I'm trying not to use her real name so i can't think of a better analogy for them <laughs> but if you use, if you buy one of those warranties i know you can only go to a rip off world or slander rv which are one of the same dealer they just use different names but they're one of the same uh dealership and so they're going to put you to the back of the line and you're going to wait months where a cash customer can come in get this with the same problem and get their unit back in weeks where you have to wait for months because again the dealers put the cash customers in their service department before the warranty customers just for that very reason but anyway that's why i always say never buy any upsells any warranties because it's just a waste of money and you're shooting yourself in the foot and costing you more money in the long run but anyway she is 54.9 includes what we call our major systems inspection and this is exactly what we cover and what we inspect for 54.9 plus applicable sales tax keep in mind we have no fees no dock fees no prep fees no processing fees destination fees none of that stuff 54.9 plus applicable sales tax we, for that price we will inspect and make sure your slide out system works and that's more than just making sure you're pushing the button make sure it comes in we make sure it seals properly we inspect the slide out top and bottom side to side make sure there's no damage anywhere if there if we find any issues with any of that of course we'll repair it at no additional cost to you all this is done at no additional cost and i'm about to tell you for the 54.9 price uh, we also check your generator, which in this case, this one doesn't work, but we're going to repair it. No additional cost to you and make sure it runs like it's supposed to and all that. Then we also make sure the roof air conditioner gets to operating temperature. We make sure the refrigerator and freezer gets to operating temperature on all modes of operation. We uh, check your propane system for leaks. We check your plumbing system for any plumbing leaks. Uh, we check the water pump for the proper water pressure on your plumbing system. We check your water heater on all modes of operation, make sure hot water gets everywhere it's supposed to. We check all your plumbing fixtures, make sure they all work. There's no dripping, no leaking, faucets, spigots, toilet, things like that. Um, we check your steps, which in this case, it's just got a low step well, like most modern ones do. No step to worry about. We check the drivability of it, make sure it runs and drives like it's supposed to, make sure the brakes are good, shifts good uh you know the major stuff like that and uh, of course everything else guys is sold as is where it is in other words guys anything else if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't we don't guarantee it we don't expect anything else that is what we cover for the price you pay in other words let's just say this light right here didn't work that's going to be up to you to fix that light or not fix it is that going to ruin your trip that light doesn't work of course not now, if that refrigerator didn't work when you picked it up, that could definitely ruin your trip. Or the generator didn't work, that could ruin your trip. That's the stuff that we make sure works at time of sale. So that doesn't ruin your trip. Or slide out not working, that could ruin your trip. We make sure it works when you pick it up. And um, that's all included for the 54 9 price. And guys, we just can't get any easier than that. And that's how we keep our prices down. We charge no fees. We have no upsells. 54.9 plus applicable sales tax. And if you are a Georgia resident, and this applies to Georgia residents only on motorized units, 
there is a fifty to a hundred dollar highway impact fee more than likely this one's going to be a hundred dollars uh the sales people can tell you that for sure and then there is a tag and title fee for georgia residents only and it's the whole whole shebang you know a hundred dollar highway impact fee tag and title fee is probably around 150 160 bucks and then we do your title work for you no additional charge you know for the labor involved with that you get a drive out tag no additional charge uh starter kit no additional charge uh you get you know free camping no additional charge 21 nights free camping up to seven nights at a time of select rv resorts nationwide that's also included with purchase no additional charge so you get a lot more extra than just a motor home and um and what i tell people to do and please pay attention to this as well and i'll put all this in the video description and on the website parkwayrvcenter.com on each individual ad uh what i recommend you should do and this should be common sense for any rv shop or any kind of used vehicle shopper first of all you want to come look at it for yourself and i know not everybody can do that and i appreciate those that buy sight unseen that you put that kind of trust in us i, I really do and i hope we earn that trust but um and if you do that guys you need to do what i'm about to tell you here in a minute but it, 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 if you can come look at it because and i know pictures help i know videos help but nothing beats actually putting your hands on a unit and walking around and your eyeballs and and all that on it and seeing how everything looks in person because it's hard to tell from videos and pictures the size proportion of everything you might come in here and decide this is bigger than you thought smaller than you thought especially if you haven't been in many rvs you need to come in here spend some time with it you know sit down on the couch lay down in the beds sit on the sit on the uh, table booth you know stand up in the shower picture your stuff in here picture your family in here make sure that there's enough room in here to do what you need to do make sure it's a right floor plan for you um and uh make sure it's nice enough to be for you to buy it for you and your family and i always tell people guys there's no such thing as the right deal on the wrong rv you know if this is the wrong floor plan for you or wrong year model or type or whatever there's no sense trying to buy it because you don't want to buy something you're going to be miserable in and want to sell a month later there's no point in that so i always tell people come look at it if you can if you can't come look at it or if you just want a second opinion hire a third party rv inspector guys these guys i cannot recommend that enough you're highly encouraged to do that we welcome them here in fact i got one here now looking at one um come out or hire them to come out on your behalf they'll inspect the rv and you know what we cover we cover those major systems i talked about earlier and of course i don't it don't matter if you do your own inspection what you come up with that doesn't work or what the rv inspector comes up with we only cover those major systems so um the point of the rv inspector or in doing it yourself that way you kind of know what you're getting into before you're obligated to go through with it it may need more stuff than you're willing to do at any price or it may not need nothing at all peace of mind knowing all that is worth a lot of money yes it may cost you a few hundred dollars for that inspection money well spent i mean you wouldn't buy a house without a house inspector looking at it would you kind of the same concept and especially if you're going full-time that's that be crazy if you're going to live in one full-time in one you'd be absolutely ludicrous not to buy not to get an rv inspection on anything you're interested in buying but anyway 54 nines a haggle free firm price with the major systems inspection and like i said everything else sold as is where it is if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't uh we do we can help you arrange local delivery and uh we can refer you to a long distance shipper if you need nationwide delivery or even if you're local and you need more uh services than just a simple unhook and book delivery service if you need somebody uh, uh i guess to go over everything with you in person you can't come here to the lot if you come here to the lot one of my techs or the salesperson will go over the rv with you but if you can't make it then you're we'll just give us a call we'll, we'll refer you to a shipper that can ship it to you and do a walkthrough on site with you
But anyway, guys, and we offer nationwide delivery to that same service. So great people. I uh, enjoy talking to both of them, the owners of that company, and uh, highly recommended by our customers. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to pause the video for a minute, bring the slide-out room in, show you what that looks like. And then I'll pause it again, get Shane or one of the guys loaded up. We'll take it for a test drive. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. All right, everybody, uh, got the slide out in. And as always, uh, my personal checklist, if I bring a room in, I go outside, make sure all the outside bays are closed, latched, and locked. Make sure my awning's put up, stowed correctly. Uh, if I'm parked somewhere uh, underneath some trees and I do not have a slide topper, uh, then I make sure that the uh, top of the slide outs are clear of debris, limbs, leaves, stuff like that, especially this time of year and everything's falling. That way I don't damage my slide out still bringing it in or out. Come inside and make sure my front seat's clear. Make sure there's nothing in the way. This pickler one, uh, you crank the motor up, have the motor running, and you have the parking brake pushed down. So that way somebody doesn't accidentally push the button with the... Um, when you're going down the road, bring your slide out out. You got to have the parking brake on. And um, you see, you got a lot of room in here, even with the slide out in. In fact, a lot of, in fact, you don't lose access to anything. Uh, you still got full access to your couch. You can still make couch bed, you still make table bed. You don't lose access to any kind of storage. Full access to your kitchen. You just lose a little bit of walk space. I need to go ahead and lay this down, these books and stuff down. I don't want to lose that or have that fall down on the test drive. Of course, you want to stow anything loose. Make sure your shower door is latched good, which I will. Uh, slide out control switch is right here. Uh, you just bring it in and you bring it to, all the way in till it stops. As with any slide out, you either want to bring it all the way in or all the way out. If you're parked somewhere and it's a really tight spot, you can't bring it all the way out, leave it all the way in. And this one wouldn't be that bad with it in. And of course, you know, all this looks the same back here. I mean, you got full access to bathroom, bedroom, all that stuff because it is a, uh, like I said, it's just a slide, one slide up here. So pretty cool setup, guys, especially for those of you that are worried about how much space it is with a slide out in. Um, here it is. So hey, Ty, guys, let me get somebody to be my cameraman and we will take it for a test drive. I can be pleasantly surprised how good this thing drives. Hang tight. See you from the driver's seat. All right, everybody. Now we're going to test drive this 2016 Mini Weenie. Uh, Shane couldn't make it. Got uh, my good buddy Steve going to help us out. So uh, anyway, guys, if you've got questions about this RV, you're interested in it, give us a call here at the dealership. 706-965-7929. Just ask for anybody in sales. Be glad to help you. And um, we'll take it down the road here. And maybe we can get out of here in time. See, it's at 5 o'clock, so we may have a lot of traffic right now. Of course, I expect this thing. I mean, these people wouldn't have drove this thing. Like I said, the last three years, they put about 16,000, 17,000 miles on it. I seriously doubt they would have. They would have drove it that much if it wasn't good mechanically. And, um, well, guys, we might be a minute. Maybe more than a minute. Well, I tried to do this earlier in the day, but it's just been one of those kind of days. somebody's nice enough to let me out but I don't think that's going to happen 85 985 don't let that scare you guys my own personal motor home uh, with the V10 it's got more power it's got more miles than this one does it's still 305 horsepower and I don't know if I mentioned this or not it does have a 5,000 pound total capacity which is more than enough for this size RV and we'll take it up the road here. See what it does. Well, at least the bright side, we got the red light. Oh, 
Oh yeah, transmission shifts good. I mean, it's uh, doing pretty good, guys. And I got hit in the head by a ladder. <laughs> Didn't secure. I always forget one thing. We forgot to uh, secure the ladder for the top bunk. <laughs> That would have been a blooper reel. <laughs> oh yeah, we're hitting 55, nice and smooth. Like I said, like I was saying earlier, guys, Winnebago building their own frame. They just have a, uh, just a kind of a unique ride and drive. I mean, they're nice and smooth. Even with 85,000 miles on it, you really can't tell the difference in the way it drives between one with 85 and one with 40,000 miles. It just doesn't have any play in the steering wheel. Uh, just a great ride and drive. We'll get on it a little bit, get on the interstate, see what it can do. I think it at least hit 60. I don't think it's gonna do what these smaller class C's we've been driving lately will do, but it'll, it'll, it'll get you up there. Where am I? 60 right here. Uh, yeah, we hit 65, easy enough. And we'll hit the cruise control. We'll see what that feels like. Cruise control is good. Oh yeah. Tires feel nice and smooth. We'll accelerate a little bit. Got her up to about 66. I'm not fighting anything. You know, a lot of people don't realize this, but a longer motorhome um, actually has a lot better ride and drive because you got a longer wheelbase. So you actually fight the steering wheel less on a longer motorhome than a shorter one because of the wheelbase. And it's, it's actually very nice and smooth. I'm impressed. I'm not fighting him with this truck in front of us. I'm not fighting anything. Of course, I know it's flatbed, but we're going to get off the exit here. I'll try out the brakes, see what they feel like. Cruise control is good. Transmission shifts good. Alignment feels great. Uh, I don't. Gauges all look good. Let's see here. Brakes feel smooth. I don't feel any jerking in the steering wheel from the rotors. Shoot, guys, I think we're good. I mean, don't take my word for it. Come out and check it out for yourself. And um, be your own judge. So come out and check us out, guys. Always call, make sure it's available. If somebody hadn't beat you to it, call 706-965-7929 and hit that subscribe button. Smash us a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.